about to match Tony a burger, nigga. It would help with that big bag. Got some cookies right here. About to match Tony a burger, nigga. Feel me? Extra cheese. Uh, extra cheese, extra pickles, extra extra meat, extra mustard, extra mayonnaise. Ah! My put all the vegetables on there too. Something like eat all the vegetables. What? I don't eat pickles. I got tired of pickles. I will never eat pickles again. It would help with that big bag. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Omar, you come in. God! Gave me no money, you came in. I'm back with another react. My bang video. Look. We got the home style. We got the whole style sandwiches, man. Feel me? You niggas ain't fucking me. I got the pickles. I got the cheese. I got the turkey. I got the mayonnaise. And I got the toasted bread. Come on, nigga. Perfection. Look how that bitch looking. Top tier cereal. Top tier sandwich. Not cereal. My fault. <laughs> Make sure y'all niggas say y'all prayer. Without chewing. Man. How my niggas been, man? I miss y'all niggas, bro. I miss doing this shit. How, how my niggas been, man? I hope y'all been living life. If anything happened in your life, bro, right here is not your limit, nigga. Keep going higher, boy. Keep going fucking higher, nigga. Right here is not your limit. Hold on. Actually, I, I kind of like this angle a little bit. I don't know why. Ignore the Vaseline, nigga. Ignore it. Don't, don't look at, don't, excuse me a little bit. Don't look at me, nigga. <laughs> Man, right here is not your limit, nigga. Don't stop right here. Keep going, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, I got mustard in it too, guys. I forgot. I got mustard. Let me know what's your favorite chips. I got the, uh, I got the turbo, um, uh, curry, curry, uh, Fritos, the barbecue flavor. That niggas let me know what's your favorite chip. I wanted some sun chips. That nigga cousin like a funny bro. Not sure it's the sun chips. He gonna bring me some motherfucking Doritos. I slapped them bitches out of his hand. Nobody eating that shit. I brought another guy get funny, cuz. Anyway. How my niggas been, man? It's God in the cut. God! Let me tell my give my niggas an update, man. How life been this year. Man, be honest with y'all. I'm going through an period in my life where I got I got to figure out and go through on my own. I don't need no sisters. First, first of all, y'all never tell nobody y'all problems unless y'all got a solution. Don't never forget that, y'all. So make sure y'all hustle back or y'all hustle till y'all fucking can't no more to figure out your situation. And then you tell friends and family or just random people y'all having a deep conversation about it. You feel me? Keep everything in within. I'm tell you what. You don't want nobody to know as much as you know. Cause that's the scary shit, especially if it's about you. If that makes sense. You want to keep your personal information only within you. It's your information. Not nobody else's, not your mom, not your sister, not your brothers, not your cousin, nobody. It's your shit. You feel me? You feel me? So, 
Stop being a bitch. Everybody go through shit. I don't care if you're living in hell right now. Stand on 10 toes. Yo, chest up. You a man, you a woman. I don't care what you is. Gender don't matter to me. I feel like if it's somebody in your gender that did it, I don't give a fuck about color, race, none of that. Somebody in your gender that did it, you could do it too. You could do it too. Not did it. You could do it too, nigga. My fault. Excuse my language. You could do it too. You feel me? Everybody go through hell, nigga. You gotta go through these periods. This was a. This what makes these people that you love and watch so fucking great. They go through these periods of their life. They can't fucking control, but they still fight it. That's the beauty of it, nigga. You feel me? They go through all these periods in their life. They cannot control. They can't do nothing about it. But instead of being stuck on stupid, what is these niggas doing? They still figuring out a way. They still hustling. They still out there finding a way. They get 400 no's, nigga, but that one yes will change their life forever. I swear to God, I'm not lying. Just keep trying. Keep trying, nigga. You don't believe me. No, because you don't believe me because you don't believe it. You don't believe in yourself. So, nigga, you got to fix something with yourself in order to believe what the fuck I'm saying because it's the real, nigga. I'm not going to come in here and capture nobody, bro. Feel me? I don't give a fuck what nobody think about me, nigga. Like, so why would I sit up here and just waste my time telling people's lies? Feel me? You gotta go through 400 losses. As soon as you get that first win, my nigga, you in there, bro. Think about it like this. This sandwich is banging. Think about it like this, though. Do think. Everybody at that billionaire table. You think they got invited in? I, I got a genuine question. I got a genuine question from the bottom of my heart. I'm not lying. I'm not. It's not a trick question. None of that. You think all the billionaires sitting at that table got invited in? Answer that question right now. I'm about to tell y'all about five seconds. Do y'all think every billionaire at that table just got invited in? No. They took 400 losses, nigga. I repeat this. I'm not saying this is the exact losses they took. They took a lot of losses. That's that's basically what I'm saying, but just saying 400. They took a lot of losses. That first win they got, got them in there. What I mean that is they got what they needed to get started. Either the funding Either the backup team, either the directors. It don't matter what it is. It, this applies to everybody's type of lifestyle, nigga. I don't care if you're selling clothes. I don't care if you're selling wellness shots. I don't care if you're selling fruit. I don't care if you're selling vegetables. I don't care if you're selling, trying to get a grocery store. I don't care what you do to get at that table. You're going to have to fall on your head a lot of times, bro. But no, you don't just sit there on the ground with your knees like this, shivering in the cold. You go find shelter. You go take action, bro. You keep going, bro. To clarify shit for y'all. So don't worry about... This is why mothers know this. You know this. If you got multiple siblings, you could relate to this situation right here. I'm going to put it in a, in a slogan for y'all. If... if uh, a, mother got, a mother got three kids, right? Two of them, they might, they, might be, they might need special attention. More attention than others. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? But she got that one kid that's tough. You know, the only reason why they ain't got to worry about tough people, either they become poor, they become broke, they become this and that, tough people always find a way to, they always have a hard time of giving up on something, so they're going to keep doing this shit. But the other two, they keep giving up. You keep giving a little push. You pay for their rent one time, you get them groceries one time, you do this, that, that for them one time, and all that. They're going to need a special little attention, but that one tough one, you don't have to do nothing for him because you did enough for him, and he's truly grateful for that. Think about that situation. A tough person is different from somebody that just gave up automatically after everything not going their way. So what type of person you gonna become? That tough nigga, or you gonna become that nigga, well, I tried, gave up. You know what I'm saying? Well, obviously you ain't try hard enough because he's gonna give you that promotion. He, he was gonna give you referral. He gonna do this, this, and that, you feel me? Well, not even that. Starting a business, he's gonna give you the funding if you just keep on vouching for your company while he keeps saying it's trash. He was gonna give you that, he's gonna give you that. So keep your mind. Where it's at. Just keep elevating it. Don't down yourself because you step in a room with Elon Musk and you bring an idea to Elon Musk to better his product. And in order to that, you want a couple million dollars. You want this and that. You want a 10% funding of his company. You want something. 
Don't ever down yourself because you in the room with the great. Cause that great was once in your position. Think about that. Tell me. I believe in hell. I believe in heaven too, but I believe in hell. In order for you to get in heaven, you gotta make it past hell. A lot of people don't make it past hell, yo. Be real with y'all, it's only a 5% chance. It's only 5% people that make it through hell. And the 5% people, it's either a millionaire, either doing well for yourself, un financially stable, a millionaire, a billionaire, and some days out here just rich out their fucking mind. Let me tell y'all something. Brother, he's doing doing well for yourself. Billionaire, billionaire. Out of three, out of these uh, three categories, it's only five percent of people that's doing this shit. And yes, you do not have to be a millionaire to do well for yourself. Some people just got hundreds and hundreds of Ks in they in their bank account. They doing well for themselves. They're not. They're not. They rich, but they're not rich, rich. They're not millionaire rich. They still could do well for this. They still could get all the cars that rich people get, all the houses, all the bitches, because they're rich. Feel me? So it's doing well for yourself, millionaire and billionaire. Feel me? Anybody can do it, man. This, <laughs> I believe in y'all, man. I know, man. I'm developing every day, man. I'm not perfect. Most people look at you because you, you get out there to learn a little bit of things. They look at you like you're perfect. Reality is, nobody fucking perfect. Feel me? We, uh, we over here slamming. Look, we eating sandwiches, bro. In the day, we're going to do good with this YouTube share. Y'all never worry about me quitting, bro. It's like Lil Wayne quitting music, bro. You ain't never got to worry about me quitting YouTube, nigga. I'm on this shit for the rest of my life. I just fell in love with it. It's just something about it. It gives me a challenge. And I don't really care about views. I don't care about subscribers. But I do need to get it up so we get monetized so a nigga can start eating. You feel me? So we can start eating around this motherfucker. You feel me? Because then when we start eating, I'm going to reinvest in that to, to, the, to the art, bro. To the, to the work we doing. We can do shit. We can do video shoots. We can do all type of shit. You feel me? So that's the reason why we can try to get monetized. It's gonna take some time, but I saw crazy, but I told God not to get nothing to me either, y'all. Cause when I get it, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking kill it. Cause when I get it, when I get it, I ain't talking about none of these other YouTube niggas. When God don't work in it, I'm a kill this shit. Yeah, fuck y'all talking about man because when i get it y'all think these other niggas out here are doing it when i get it i'm gonna kill this shit and i ain't talking about breaking people on my shit i ain't talking about nothing i'm talking about solo i'm gonna blow the solo way i can care less about having anybody on my shit i'm gonna do so much shit the solo way they's gonna know me for me not for collabing with who 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 for me nigga feel me i love niggas i'll I collab with anybody Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I would not collab with anybody. I'm not that type of nigga. If I truly fuck with you and I think you're a genuine person, I'm gonna collab with you. But I don't think you're genuine. I don't think you're real. I think you be on that weird shit. I'm not collabing with you. I'm, be, I'm keeping it on it. I go for anybody. I don't care who you is. But I, I got a problem, but I just got laid from a distance. My fe my fellow uh, YouTuber friend. YouTuber uh, family. Because we all in one platform. We all still in one platform. But yeah. <laughs> well, God, I don't wanna get it. <laughs> it's a whole nother thing. Whole another ball game. I'ma do shit niggas they ain't respect. <laughs> Feel me? I don't tell nobody either, bro. I'll just be sitting there on my fucking notebook writing and writing what I'ma do when I get the funding for it. It's coming soon, nigga. It's, I, I love, I love doing these fucking videos. I love talking to my niggas. I love catching up with my niggas, bro. I just love this shit so much. It's just something about coming on whatever platform you want to come on and be real about it. Feel me? Man. 
Fuck everything on some out. This thing was cracking. Y'all need to bite? Go ahead and get it. You know I fuck with y'all niggas, bro. Go ahead and get that, bitch. Yup, yup. Niggas killing that shit, yup. Chill, nigga, chill. Shit, niggas still gotta eat. Huh. Yeah, I ain't never seen no two piece mud bang to have y'all. Omar never did this. Look, I ain't eating this banana right now. Fuck that. I'm gonna eat that bitch whenever I want to. We got some cookies right here. I didn't make these. These are store bought. Unk fat ass had these. I just wanna eat a few. You know what I'm saying? I don't really eat this shit, so. Y'all ain't gotta worry about me. That shit look like it's plastic or something. Oh, it's just cold. No, I ain't never had no two piece mukbang. Just so y'all busting, though. Y'all niggas be grateful, man. No chewing, nigga. No chewing. Y'all see what we got right here? Got the almond milk in this bitch. Non sweeten. Like I said, I'm a healthy nigga. So I want to eat sweets. Gotta wash it down with some water. Or something, something else, some other healthy shit. Here's yeah, some drinking out of it, nigga, because I'm about to kill the rest of it. So you niggas think I'm about to put it back in the refrigerator? <laughs> I'm not putting it back in the refrigerator, nigga. Fuck out of here, lame ass nigga. These cookies trash. Y'all know what the best cookies I ever had was? I think the best cookies we got in Columbus is probably like some local bakery. But like as big names as you niggas probably would know. Insomnia cookies. Crumble cookies. Fucking top tier. Damn, I had some other shit, bro. I don't know how long. I don't know how long it's been. Been like about like four or five years since I had like Went to a local bakery and got cookies and shit. Oh, uh, shit. Who got some good cookies? This place called Huna King got good cookies. They cookies are high. I suppose like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Arby's, Riley's. Do fast food cookies really count? Do y'all count that? Do y'all put that in the cookie tier? We gonna do a cookie tier list, bro. Oh yeah, nigga. I got my motherfucking PC. Not PC. I, not exactly PC. I got my computer. Y'all know, man. Y'all been keeping up with y'all boy. Y'all knocking my. I got my computer. We gonna do a tier list, man. Y'all, we gonna do a tier list. We gonna rate cookies, but it's gonna be in a whole other channel. Y'all gonna subscribe to this channel right here. I pick. I pick it up. Hey, hell of reactions coming. I got a lot of shit in the vault for reactions. I I just hope y'all niggas is ready. I got some shit coming on there, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I ain't about to show y'all me eating cookies. That shit is weird. But I just want to record, man. I told y'all it's been a minute since I've been uploading on my main channel like that. I'm going to get to it, nigga. Believe me. I got shit in the vault. Let's go. Sub right now, nigga. God! Anyways, man, look. Out the commitment, there ain't no more to come in, Mr. Omar to come in. Well, look, we on the road to a thousand subscribers, man. Y'all niggas sub out right here. Y'all fuck with me right here. And fucking subscribe, nigga. I wasn't pointing at you. I was pointing right here. Subscribe, nigga. Love y'all niggas. Hey. Out the cut, nigga. I love y'all niggas. I'm gone. Oh.